Hello and welcome to the Calculator Guide video on Photomath by Microblink. Photomath is a calculator application which makes use of your phone's camera to scan a typical textbook style mathematical problem in order to be able to solve it. So I've got six problems here to solve. I've actually printed them out on a sheet of paper for the camera to pick up. And we're going to see how well this particular application does. So we'll start off with our first problem to solve here. So we need to place our problem within the phantom rectangle created by these red corners here. And the application periodically scans through to detect the problem. Now we need to check that the problem presented at the top by the application is the same as our actual problem, which we have on the paper. And it is in this case, x equals 11. So it's solved that one for us. Let's move on to a, a quadratic equation and here it's given our two solutions. I'm going to delve a little bit deeper into this. I'm going to press the button that says steps and we can see here that the application has used the quadratic formula to go through and calculate our two values for x there. Now throughout the different problems it doesn't always show you the steps, particularly not on some complicated problems, but for quite a number of problems the steps function does reveal the steps that the application has taken to solve that particular problem. Moving on to the next problem here, we have an indefinite integral, and it's calculated that for us, including the plus c, very important. And now we also have a definite integral, and it's got the value of that there, minus 202. Let's try a trigonometric value, so the sine of 45 degrees. It's given us a decimal approximation there, not an exact answer unfortunately, but the app still has worked that out correctly for us. And then finally, we have a modulus or absolute value here, 17 minus 26, which is just given as the value of 9. So a great app for solving textbook mathematics problems there. You can see that I did use a variety of different fonts. Um, it's true that you can't pick up every single font, but for the generic, quite popular fonts, it does seem to read them very well. And currently, as a production of this video, it is free for you to download on iOS or Android. So it is a really very useful app for no cost. There's many more uses that I haven't been able to show you here. I just chose six particular problems. I'm sure there's lots of other things that Photomath can cope with as well. But that's it for now. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time on the Calculator Guide.